Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So let's create a simple to-do library which will just uh, store the to-do items in an array. So what we will do is we will just write a simple to-do class. So let's quickly add that. So this is a to-do class which will have a constructor and inside a constructor we have this dot to-dos initialized with empty array and then we have different different methods like list which will just return whatever we have inside this list and then we have another methods like add you wanted to add a to do item so what the add will do is it will create a simple object const to do item and that will have title which you just passed and uh, simple completed that is false okay and what we can do is this dot to do dot push we can push this to do item then simply there are other methods like you can also mark a particular to do item complete and in this function we will take a title as input let me zoom it a little bit so now we have a complete function what the complete function will do is we can do it in multiple possible ways first we can check okay the item is available or not const found this we can do using this dot to do's dot find and find is simple as i dot title equal equal to the title we have passed if this is not found right that means we can throw error here that to do item not found and we will validate it through the test case also rest we can say this dot to do's and we will run a loop onto this this dot to do's dot map and we are whatever the new array we are getting we are assigning back it to the to do so it's like uh, we are getting a new array and we are updating the existing to do's okay and here we can just check if i dot title is equal equal to the title which we are looking for then just completed this is the property sorry for the typo and it has become true and if this is done we will just return the i for each and every iteration we are just marking one of them as a true that's it so this dot to do's and then we can just say module dot exports module dot exports to do's this is a simple to do class okay our class is done now what we can do is we can go to our to do test.js we can require this first of all require this to do class and how we are going to import uh, simply we need to go inside src lib to do's that's it now what uh, assertions we are going to make because this is a library so we are going to use the same set of uh, blocks first of all let's finish these okay so first to describe what it says is we are going to test the happy path okay this is like to do library and we are going to check to do functional happy path and we will just talk about a simple to do functions right we have different functions in to do so what we can do is it and it's all synchronous right to do equal to new to do we are getting the object of the class and now we can let's say we are adding something to do dot add 
one Sim similarly we can add few more items and here we can check expect to do dot list because this is a function first of all to be uh, to be defined to not equals null right we can use all these different assertions if this is not null then what it is returning dot length because it is returning an array dot length two equals this should be equal to three because we have added a three items right and then uh, we can do a lot of other assertions also here we are checking the length we can do a deep equals to do dot list it should return as an array right so what we will do is first of all let's make it fail you will see what we are getting so we'll just do npm run test and this one is failing here expected type error to do dot list is not iterable okay to do dot list is not iterable dot length we are trying to access let's see what mistake we have done so to do dot list this dot to do's okay this is our class this dot to do's oh sorry uh, this should be this dot to do's okay everything is fine we will run the test case again and now because we are we have written fail first we will know what we are getting right we are getting this particular object we can also do console.log so we can put the same thing for our comparison run this again and then we have to do a deep equals here okay we are getting this as an output so what we will do is to deep dot equal and here we can pass this object format this and we are good now we don't need to do a console.log it should pass all the test cases because now we are comparing everything correctly okay this is simple happy pass you can say right and we can add a few more test cases we can mark uh, completed okay now we are creating another new object let's say i'm adding only one element and it should be equal to one now these test cases should simply pass now what i'm doing is let's say i'm marking one test case uh, one particular to do item as complete to do dot complete and i'm passing the title title is one then if i go and do the list again then completed should become true right and this test case should pass if my logic is completely correct and everything is passing right so we are able to mark item completed now you can add few more items i mean you can write a number of test cases let's see i'm adding two and now this particular section will become so one is completed which is true and there is a another title which is not completed so that will still be a false so simple simple test cases we have written with the help of uh, this assertion library uh, we missed something looks like okay we missed comma here and we can actually do a watch also on all these test cases so we don't miss any particular test case right so this is a simple library we have written we are using deep equals to undefined defined we are just checking this particular function should not be null then we are extracting the value and then we are doing, doing a deep equals we are completing one particular to, to do item and then we are comparing it and here we are using assertion library chai chai dot ex, uh, expect similarly you can also use assert should all these are assertion libraries 
and this is how we are easily able to do the test case for this particular simple class okay thanks everyone